Well, this morning, Israeli strikes overnight wound up demolishing entire neighborhoods in Gaza as the war is now entering a fifth day. You can see buildings that were destroyed and piles of rubble everywhere. Israel declared war against Hamas after that terrorist group launched a deadly attack in Israel Saturday. According to the Associated Press, more than 2,000 people have died on both sides, including at least 20 Americans. President Biden has made it clear that the U.S. will stand with its longtime ally. Let there be no doubt the United States has Israel's back. We will make sure the Jewish and Democratic State of Israel can defend itself. Well, the United States is supplying Israel with weapons and ammunition. The first delivery already landed in Israel overnight. In addition, the USS Gerald Ford Aircraft Carrier Strike Group is on station in the eastern Mediterranean. It's really a show of force to try to deter things uh, from expanding in the region. Today, as U.S. Secretary of State Anthony Blinken he is set to travel to Israel to meet with Israeli leaders. The State Department says Blinken will listen to the country's leaders about the ongoing battle against Hamas. The department also says that Blinken will discuss measures to improve Israel's security as well as emphasize America's support for the country to defend itself. Well, as the conflict seems to be escalating here in Connecticut, a rally outside the state capitol started to escalate yesterday until police stepped in. People rallying together to show support for the Palestinian people were met by people showing their support for Israel. Fox 81's Lindsay Kane is live right outside the capitol this morning with more details. Lindsay. Hi, good morning. Well, it's a very different scene this morning than it was last night. Two groups from opposite sides ended up at the same rally outside the Capitol building. One side supporting the Palestinian people and then the other side supporting Israel. Hundreds of demonstrators went outside the Capitol building with signs and flags just to make sure that their voices were being heard in support of Gaza and the Palestinian people. After Hamas's surprise attack on Israel, people rallying together spoke out against the violence towards civilians and terrorism, but they said they're still pushing for Palestinian independence after decades of conflict. As the Palestinians, we want to let this state know that we demand to be heard as well. Hamas is a militant group. They're doing uh, their things on their own. They make their own decisions. Uh, but who pays the price? Our people uh, and the civilians from both sides. As the Palestinian supporters rallied, people in support of Israel made their way to the capital. Now, that led to heated moments between the two groups. Police quickly broke up that crowd. Organizers of the rally called for people to focus on their message of Palestinian liberation. Now they're asking lawmakers here at home to give the same support to the Palestinian people they plan to give to Israel. Now, as of now, more than 2,000 people have died on both sides in Gaza and in Israel. Political experts have said that it's likely the violence will continue for the weeks or even months to come. Live in Hartford this morning, Lindsay Kane, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.